Good morning. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And today we're going to be talking about stimulating the prostate. Okay. I purposely did not do this video live because there is so much of a negative stigma that is attached to any type of anal play when it comes down to a man. I did not want to be distracted reading the comments when I did this video. So I specifically did this video for YouTube and it's not done for my Facebook fans only because I wanted to be able to give you good, accurate information without distractions. Okay, so we're going to get into this video. All right. So a lot of times I'm asked one on one. Um, how do I feel about men who enjoy anal play stimulation? I'm a professional woman. Okay, I'm a professional woman in the adult industry. And my opinion about something does not make something factual. Okay. I, I have to say this because a lot of times we have an opinion, but it does not make it a fact. Okay. We have this way of tying pleasure into sexuality. All right. I don't do that. I look at pleasure for what it is, which is pleasure. And I look at sexuality for what it is, which is sexuality, your preference, what it is that you like, right? Just because you have a man who is a little more open to certain types of pleasure versus another person, it has no bearing on their sexuality at all, okay? I so happen to be married to a man who has certain boundaries when it comes down to what he wants to try and what he doesn't want to try, okay? However, if I had a man who was open to trying different things, I wouldn't view them anything different as long as you're trying to get with me and I'm a woman, okay? If you choose to want to try these things with a man, then that is where your sexuality comes into play. So when you ask me this question, when you come into the store and you saying, okay, I ran my finger across his butt and he ain't do nothing. You know, I went back there and licked and blew on it and he ain't do nothing. He didn't do anything but enjoy it because... He understands what pleasure is. Some people are not there mentally and that is okay. But what we can't do is try to put people in a box, okay? You got to understand what sexuality is and you got to understand what pleasure is, all right? So, the male's G-spot is located in his anal area. It's in his butthole. That's what his prostate is. We have gotten so crazy, especially as black people, about the prostate to the point where we won't even go and get it checked to make sure that we can live. Like, I want you to understand how crossed up that is. Like, I, I know something, I know a certain test can save my life. And I'm so hung up on sexuality until I won't even go and get a test done to save my life. I really want us to do better as a people, okay? And, and stop crossing the two, all right? We have some prostate toys here at the PPG store that are designed to specifically go straight to the prostate. I'm a woman. I have nails, okay? If you're a woman and you have nails, sometimes stimulating the prostate can be a little bit ugh, because sometimes, you know, our nails can cut our nails can poke and become uncomfortable. So with that being said, I personally recommend that if you're going to stimulate your partner's prostate, okay, I'm talking about the inward stimulation, you use a probe or some type of toy or something like that. Always use some type of lubricant so that the toy can glide in. That's just safety. We don't want our partner to experience all types of cuts and tears and all of this from our nails, all right? So get a toy, some lube, and have fun with it. If you flip this toy over to the back, okay, it is going to give you a diagram of exactly where the prostate is. 
That way, when you are entering this toy, you know exactly what spot you are reaching for, okay? I'm going to actually do a video called Milking the Prostate where I'm going to actually have a lot of actual toy. Um, it's my Yoni toy, but I'm going to put a strap on on my Yoni toy so that you can see me going into the butt and then actually stroking and stimulating the shaft and all of, the, all of that at the same time. Let me say this. I have never had the opportunity to do this to an actual human, okay? Again, I, I keep stressing that my husband is not into any type of anal stimulation. However, it does not take rocket science for me to know that if I ever had the opportunity to do it, this is how I would do it. So that's what I'm going to show you what all I would do if I was doing it. Okay. <laughs> all right. And it's just a part of me teaching. I just don't think that I have to put myself in a box to only teach certain things just because I have an experience. It's no different than a person teaching about um, different states and the cultures of different states, a, a social studies teacher teaching about different countries that they've never visited, but yet you got the information and you can still teach it, okay? All right, then we have these rechargeable prostate toys. These vibrate. This one here, this is just a probe. It stimulates it, allows them to be able to get the pleasure, but it does not vibrate. We actually have ones that vibrate with remote controls. So that means that I can actually put the toy in, have it pointing directly to the prostate. I can operate the remote, he can operate the remote, or you know, we can interchange and have fun with it. This is no different than a woman stimulating her clitoris with the vibrating panty with the remote control. So my thing is if we have things that are available for women to be able to experience pleasure, there are things for men to experience pleasure too. But we just have to get outside of the box, okay? We have to stop limiting ourselves for those who want to do it. If you're not interested in it, fine. This video just may be one of the videos that I do that's just not for you. And that is perfectly fine. The Milk and the Prostate video will be available for download. I know that that video is not going to be for everybody. But for the people who are interested in it, you're going to be able to download it. Now, this one here is a zero tolerance kit. This kit comes with a five-year warranty. Okay, when I when I see toys that have a five year warranty, that lets me know one thing is good quality because ain't nobody gonna stand behind something for five years that you using for sexual purposes if they didn't feel like it was gonna be durable. Okay, all right, this one comes with um, a non vibrating prostate stimulator. It comes with um, another one that is more flexible that bends. So we got a, a non vibrating prostate stimulator. Another vib another non-vibrating prostate stimulator that is flexible. That means it bends. And then we have a non-vibrating prostate stimulator with a cock ring attached to it. Mm -hmm. And then we have the vibrating prostate stimulator. So this particular kit has four different things in it to be able to stimulate the prostate. All different types of ways. We have just a plain non-vibrating, a non-vibrating flexible one a non-vibrating one with a cock ring attached to it, and we have one that actually vibrates, okay? All right. So, of course, we are here at the PPG store. Um, we are here from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Any one of us can help you. If you have questions, all you have to do is come in and ask, or you can send me an email, or if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me and do a Zoom meeting, of course, I'm booking those as well. That has been what I have been doing lately. Um, I will say... Mostly all of 2021, my evenings have been consumed with one-on-one -on -one Zoom meetings with couples or people who just have questions about taking their sex life to the next level, um, interested in trying new things, or people who just want to get information and knowledge about certain subjects. So if that is what you're interested in, of course, you can always email me to get that set up. My email address is um, only1ppg at gmail.com. All right. That is going to conclude my video today. You all be blessed. You all have an awesome day. These videos are not intended to be long. It's intended to give you good information. That way you can watch it on your 15 minute break, your lunch break or whatever, so that you have the information to be able to make the best decision for yourself. Okay. You all be blessed. Enjoy your Tuesday. All right.